Welcome back to Backyard Country Living. Another hot day here in Eastern North Carolina. Finally getting around to some projects now after we've gotten through the, the other videos with the review and maintenance on stuff on the tractor. So as you can see today, I have a guest with me. This is my son, Spencer. He's, he's the guy that's been mainly responsible for doing all the video work, editing, uh, the music that you hear on the intro. He actually uh, played that on his guitar. So he, uh, you know, he's, he's doing all that stuff for me. Um, but anyway, today we wanted to talk about the basket you see behind us here and get into um, you know, some uses that we have for that. This is one of the IBC totes that you see everybody using for firewood baskets and things of that nature. Um, we've actually created a man lift or a man basket um, as, as they call some of, some of them on the uh, internet. Uh, very similar, you can buy a basket like this. Uh, I think like a 36 by 36 is somewhere between $400 and $450 uh, for a basket like that. Um, so basically, you know, we took this and just cut out part of the cage for you, you know, to be able to enter through here. And then we've got our safety chains here that get hooked back over the doorway. Um, we've got safety chains that tie it to the pallet forks on the tractor, so you know there's no chance if something got turned a little tilted a little too forward, the basket will not come off. But let, let me just say, first of all, here safety is is a very important thing in using this. I'm not recommending this to anyone. Just, you know, feel free to venture out and do your own thing, but I'm just saying that this this can be a nice handy tool. It can also be a dangerous tool if you if you're using it for more than maybe it's intended to do or um, Spencer will be doing the driving on, on the tractor you definitely got to have someone that you trust and know the controls on the tractor well or else you can turn this into a dangerous situation uh, we use it for just um, you know trimming trimming up limbs around you know a couple of trees uh, if you need to get up to an edge of a building to work on a gutter or hang some lights on the corner of the building change some bulbs uh, we've used it to get up to the edge of a barn to, to nail some tin back down just general pucker stuff that's um, in my mind it's safer than in some cases than a ladder I've seen some of the guys and you, there's videos all over the internet of a guy you know different people trimming limbs on a tree with a ladder propped up on a tree that's about one of the most dangerous things you can do because there's there's a good chance that when you cut that limb it's going to swing right back down to the trunk of the tree hit the ladder knock you out of but anyway i'll let spencer speak a little bit about to the uh safety and and how he maneuvers the the basket you know once i get in there and he's he's under the controls and then after he talks about that we'll get hooked up to his thing and today we're going to cut a few limbs that are in the way of um some things that we want to get them out of the way and then we also have a swing like a tree swing that we want to hang in a tree um, over near uh, kind of between his house and ours and we're just going to go put that up have a nice little shady area to you know maybe if the the wives want to get out and do a little swinging in the in the tree they can anyway spencer i'll let you talk about the safety and operating the tractor so yeah if you ever uh have used hydraulic a hydraulic loader on a tractor you might know that typically uh your joystick there at times can be very sensitive so uh, one thing you want to keep in mind when operating the loader specifically with this bucket is um, you want to be sensitive with that with that loader handle you, you do not want to make any sudden jerks or motions you you want to make sure sitting in that uh, center console seat that you don't have anything in between you and the loader that could possibly bump it while someone's on there because any sudden movement um, could, could be very dangerous for, for the person in the bucket so um, that's kind of the, the first point there is is you want to make sure that you, you are very sensitive and um, before someone gets in that bucket you know have a feel for those controls with the bucket on there see how it reacts another thing is is your, your forks are not self leveling so um, as you start to lift on your forks you start to get a, a pretty slight angle on your forks so as you start lifting that bucket you're gonna have to tilt forward or backwards depending on if you're going up or down um, to level out your basket so um, with those things in mind it's really about just taking the time being patient don't rush through it and uh, get the job done and, and one other thing I would say um, you'll see when we trim um, a couple of limbs today let's say you got a limb coming out from a tree it's you know 10 or 12 foot long 
don't cut that limb off right up at the tree because that just creates a situation you know you cut that long limb it's going to fall down maybe land on the top and then you don't know where it's going to go it could it could land on the on the on the top and then shoot back towards the bucket or towards the tractor uh, I, I heard of one guy that had a similar situation as to this that cut a big limb like that when the limb fell it ricocheted back towards the tractor and actually hit one of the hydraulic hoses so obviously that's not going to be a good day if, if it hits a hydraulic hose and then you're up in the bucket you're coming down uh, so what I would say is you cut that limb off in little sections you know maybe if it's 10 foot long you cut it in three pieces that way when that small piece falls it, it's not large enough to come back and, and don't get don't get the tractor position right up under it obviously you want to have your pole saw extended to full length and and he's going to get straight in line you don't want to be cutting anything to the side there again that can fall and then come back towards the tractor um, you want to be the the object that you're cutting you want it to be directly in front of you and you be as far away from it as possible cut it off in little pieces that just makes it a lot safer when it falls Anyway, we'll get started now. We'll get hooked up to this thing and see what we can do.
see one of the many uses that we can get out of this man basket. Um, there again, being cautious, and you saw how I cut the limb up in little sections. Pretty much they still fell straight down. You know, nothing came back toward the tractor or toward the bucket. Uh, and you definitely never want to be cutting anything that's up too high, you know, sort of above your head. Just a little common sense, and it can be a very useful tool. Uh, and the basket didn't cost me anything. You know, if I had bought one, we'd be looking at, you know, four to $500. So, um, and we also, the main reason we cut that limb, freed up the old antique windmill that you see in the background. It's a homemade uh, windmill that's, um, you know, pretty cool. So we wanted to get the limb freed up so it could do its job. So that's going to do it for this project. Next thing we'll move, move on to uh, putting up the tree swing and see how the basket works out for that project. So uh, anyway, we'll catch you over there. tree swing installed in the shade right near the garden and the flowers so everybody anybody who wants to come swing can enjoy nature and watch the plants grow and all that good stuff so as you can see the basket came in handy for that um, you know you just got to you just got to be careful and use it for something that's practical don't try to stretch it and and by the way don't never climb on the sides of it or put a ladder in it that's you know I know some people do that but that's a no-no Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one.